Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to say happy Juneteenth. I know Juneteenth just passed, but I am still celebrating because there is always a time to celebrate freedom. And what I really wanted to talk about today is freedom from corporate bondage, because I feel like just like those enslaved persons who were already free, but didn't know that they were free for two years until the news reached Galveston, Texas, some of us are free, but we don't know we're free and we're still walking in bondage. And one of the ways we do that is corporate bondage. So I just wanted to share an experience that I had that really brought this point home to me. As many of you know, I left my employee position as a physician in January and went out on my own to pursue my coaching business, but I'm still an independent contractor who does some physician work. And one of the places that I work for as an independent contractor recently came out with a bonus structure. And what I realized about that bonus structure, as I looked at it from a perspective of, a, of an entrepreneur and not as an employee, is that the bonus structure is really a bondage structure. Because if you look at what's included in the bonus structure, the bonus structure is set up to incentivize you to make the corporation or the organization more profitable. It is not set up to incentivize you to make yourself happier, healthier, a better uh, provider, to make the patient healthier, none of that. It is set up to benefit the organization or the corporation. But it is sold to you and to me as a way to really get you know, paid what we're worth, to really be able to earn um, more, than, um, more than our base salary based on the amount of effort we put in. But it's all a lie. It is a hoax. And I have felt this for so many years, but I had so much cognitive dissonance around it because I have bought into the idea that these metrics were a reflection of my job performance. They were a reflection of how good a physician I was and how well I was taking care of my patients and the quality of care that I was providing. That is not true. Those metrics are the metrics that the organization needs to receive whatever recognition, acknowledgement, payment, um, certifications that they need. And that is the truth. So be free. And I'm telling you right now, I'm giving you a message right now to free you, okay? Um, you do not have to define your performance and your quality of work and your quality of care by whatever metrics the organization puts out, because they are not intended to really reflect what you're doing. They're intended for you to work harder for them to receive what they need to receive. So I hope that that word right there gave you some freedom because I know that I, I de it definitely gave me freedom. And so when I looked into this bonus structure, I was really curious to see how they did it. I knew I wasn't eligible for it because I'm an independent contractor. I'm not an employee. But I looked at all of the components with my discerning eye. And what I noticed is that, just like I said, all of the things they were measuring are things that are going to make the organization more profitable. <clears throat> and if you do not jump through these hoops, if you do not jump over these hurdles and run faster, higher, faster, higher, and you do not make this bonus, then you'll probably be making less money than you were making before. And you'll be blaming yourself, right? In that, in that really interesting how the organization has a way of putting it on you to make you think that you are the one who failed when actually they set you up for failure. So those things that are arbitrarily told to you uh, are not really measures that you can control most of the time. And so don't feel bad if you can't make it if you can make it great, why not try to get the extra bonus? But I am so happy that I'm not eligible for it because what it does for me is it releases stress. I don't have to be stressed. Did I do this? Did I check this box? Did I do that? Did I do this? 
I don't have to worry. I can just practice in the way that I know is the right way to practice. I take care of my patients the way I want to be taken care of and the way I want my family to be taken care of. And to me, that's good quality of care. And if I'm doing that, then I know that I'm doing a good job. So I can release the stress. I don't have to try to make myself small to fit into these little boxes and packages that they have designed. So I am happy to not be eligible to be paid more money. And that might sound crazy to you, but I am so happy because my freedom is so much more important than a few extra dollars that I have to work my butt off to achieve. So the other thing is that um, I just want to tell you that if you feel the need to free yourself from corporate bondage, do it. You will be blessed because even in this situation where the pay structure has changed and I'm not eligible to make more, I am still being blessed. God is still blessing me because there's also a baseline pay increase. And I didn't know if I would be eligible for that as an independent contractor. But as soon as I put my thoughts to paper about corporate bondage, I opened up my email and there was an amended contract bumping me up to the higher baseline pay along with everybody else. So God is good. I just want to tell you, God is good. And if there is something that you need to be free of, do it. What's on the other side of that fear is so worth it. Yes, you may not have the answers every day. Yes, you may not have that, you know, that income that you know what it is every two weeks. It might shift, it might change, but you will be taken care of. If you are walking in your truth and you are being your authentic self and you are doing your absolute best every day, God will bless you and you will have what you need and more. So that's the Juneteenth message that I wanted to share today is that you can be free of corporate bondage. You can be free of relationship bondage. You can be free of whatever bondage may be holding you back. You can be free. So don't let it take two years from the time that you're actually free for your mind to process it, for the information to get to you so that you can walk in that freedom. I want you to be free today. So I hope that that inspired you to be free, especially of this corporate bondage and to release the stress, release the, um, the fear, release the trade, release your job, release whatever it is as per Beyonce, uh, whatever it is that you need to, to release because they cannot break your soul. I know they cannot break my soul. They can't break your soul. And I am here for freedom. All right, that's what I wanted to share today. Continue with the Juneteenth celebrations and the Freedom Walk. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.